Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. Look for a waxing gibbous moon after sunset on September 1st and 2nd. It'll lie near the teapot, an obvious pattern of stars in the constellation of Sagittarius the Archer. It's easy to see it as an earthly teapot. On September 1st, the moon will float near the spout of the teapot. Then the following evening, September 2nd, the moon will lie among the stars of the teapot. They'll set after midnight. Whenever you gaze toward the teapot, you are looking at the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The galactic center is located between the tail of Scorpius and the teapot of Sagittarius. Once the moon moves on, you'll need a fairly dark sky to see the teapot. It will be above the southern horizon as darkness falls in September and set around midnight. In a dark sky, can you imagine the Milky Way is steam rising from the teapot's spout? It's really the light from a thick concentration of stars and dust in the disk of our Milky Way galaxy. And on September evenings, the Milky Way is stretching overhead from Perseus, Cassiopeia, through Cygnus, Aquila, Scutum, Sagittarius, and Scorpius. It's an incredible sight in a dark sky. If you've got binoculars, use them to scan along the Milky Way to see numerous star clusters and nebula. I hope you enjoy stargazing as much as I do. Please like, subscribe, and share so you don't miss any upcoming night sky events.